There is another new MacBook Air 2023 model coming and it looks like it's going to be 70% faster with M3 inside over the first Apple Silicon M1 chipset that we got less than three years ago. Now, before we get started, one thing I just want to say quickly is that here in England, we say the word air as air. And at the end of the day, we invented the English language. And before anybody stepped over to any of the American continents and started speaking English over there, the word air had already been invented. So if anybody in the continent of America decides to call it something a little bit different, that's on you guys. At the end of the day, here in England, that's how we pronounce the word air. And that's what I'll be doing in the video here. And with that, today I want to cover what the new MacBook Air M3 will do for us with giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the MacBook Air 2023 release date and price. But let's get started where we are with the MacBook Air. So within the last two years, we've had a brand new design, 13 inch MacBook Air, and just this year at WWDC 2023, we got introduced to the larger brother, MacBook Air with a 15 inch display. Both these MacBooks have big changes with a new design, a new color, MagSafe 3, and of course the M2 chipset, what's got around about 20-30% more power than the current M1 chipset. Both MacBook Airs are the only MacBooks to have no fan inside to give you a complete silent experience. But later on this year, in 2023, even bigger changes are expected for the 13-inch MacBook Air. So what I would say right now, it doesn't look like any of these changes that you're going to see in this video are going to be coming to the 15-inch MacBook Air as it's still so new. So this is just for the 13-inch model. We've had reports recently like from Ming-Chi Kuo telling us that the M3 chipset is coming at the fall of 2023 and the MacBook Air will be one of the debut devices to have this chipset inside. We've also had other reports telling us that Apple also have booked up most of the slots from TSMC who make Apple's chipsets with the M3 having a 3 nanometer die. The 3 nanometer die is very important as it means that the M3 transistors can be made even smaller and on top of this this would mean efficiency in speed and also power consumption before even Apple decide to add more cores or crank up the speed on those cores. With the M2 chipset being about 20-30% to 30 faster than the M1, the M3 could be around about 70% faster than what we got with the M1 with these improvements and it would be a worthy upgrade for anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air or say the M1 MacBook Pro. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they could come true with the next generation of the MacBook Air. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook Air anyway. So, release date. By fall or autumn of 2023, the MacBook Air M2 will be coming near to 18 months old. When the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had been out for about 18 months. It seems likely that Apple are going to be doing the same again and starting the M3 journey at the end of 2023. As I've said before, Minchi Ko believes that Apple want to release the M3 chipset in new devices before the end of the year. It makes sense for Apple to do an event in around October or November time of 2023 to release chipsets in the MacBook Air, the smaller MacBook Pro and even the iMac. There's even another report that has come in recently, what we've had from Mark Gurman as you can see here. And he's also confirming that the M3 chips are on their way coming in around about October 2023. So at the time of making this video, this is around about 80 days from now. The event is most likely going to happen anywhere between mid-October to early November as Apple want to have their iPhone event first in September time and have all their iPhones and other products out before another event. However, as we get closer to the end of summer, a more clearer picture of when the M3 chipset will be coming out with the MacBook Air 2. 
So then guys, just quickly, we are doing another giveaway on this channel. And to be honest, it's not that far away. We're doing this new giveaway for these three prizes here around the end of September time. What's going to be absolutely awesome. And I want to go over all the details about this. So first of all, let's talk about the prizes that we actually have here. So I'm going to be giving away one of these prizes to one lucky person each. So basically three prizes, three people. You get the idea. And the first prize that we have here are some AirPods Pros that I'll be giving away to one lucky person. And then somebody else will be getting their hands on an Apple Watch SE. And then finally, one person will be super lucky and they'll be getting themselves an Apple Watch Ultra 2, which is really, really awesome. And if you want to enter into this giveaway, anybody in the world can enter into it as it's an international giveaway all you have to do is tell me in the comments below of what apple gear or what technology you're planning to buy in 2023 put it down in the comments below and also at the same time guys if you want to find out when that actual giveaway is going to be happening if you're new here make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to know when that giveaway is actually having and um, if you've managed to get your hands on one of these prizes but something else i just want to quickly say guys with this international giveaway there are still spammers and scammers out there and some of them even impersonating myself telling you to telegram them or to whatsapp them please do ignore them or even better do report them if they're telling you to part with your money or anything like this it is not me at all these prizes here i'll be sending out the shipping i'll be doing the taxes so don't worry about that they're all scams and like i said to you guys it will be happening at the end of september time but let's move on and do a summary of what the 2023 macbook air is going to give us and its price as well so the macbook air m3 will have the normal 13.6 led retina display and this will come in at a resolution of 2560 by 1600 again we'll have the offerings of storage of 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes option if you wanted to pick that the brand new M3 chipset is most likely going to be coming this time round with that 10 core CPU and also a 12 core GPU. But most importantly is going to be that 3 nanometer die that's going to make everything more efficient and a bit more powerful too. We will probably still have the option between 8 gigabytes and up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. And then the actual body itself will be very similar in design. It'll be an aluminum body or an aluminium body. And then obviously we'll get MagSafe 3, the two USB-C Thunderbolt ports as well. Nothing really is going to change here. And the same with colours too. We're going to get Midnight, Space Grey, Silver and that Starlight. The centre stage camera is still going to be housed inside that notch. And it'll be a 1080p camera. And battery life will be up to 19 hours this time round. Mainly because of the efficiency in that M3 chipset. And the prices, they're likely to stay around about the same. So with an 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 storage, that will cost you about 1,199 US dollars. But that will probably be a binned version of the M3 chipset. Then 512 gigabytes is 1,399. 1 terabyte, 1,999. And then 2 terabytes will be 1,999 US dollars. So that is a summary of the new MacBook Air M3. But my wishes for the MacBook Air, I want to talk about those now. And that is to do with thermals. So as much as Apple have made the MacBook Air to have no fan inside of it, and we had this with the M1 and the M2, something tells me that with the M3, the chipset is going to get even hotter than those two previous chipsets. So for this, I would actually like to see a return of the fan back inside the MacBook Air. And for it to only kick in when it really needs to. So say when you're exporting a 30 minute 4k video then three or four minutes into that export the fan would kick in just to help with any kind of throttling issues however those are my thoughts and do you agree with them do you think that the macbook air should remain fanless also share with me what your thoughts are for the m3 macbook air 2 well guys, it's also time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure that you press the like button. At the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye bye.